Welcome to the Wraith Tavern. History on tap. Enjoy the video. The year is 1939. Across Europe, the shadow of tyranny grows long. Nazi Germany, a resurgent power, unleashes its war machine. Poland falls, then Denmark, then Norway. France, once thought invincible, crumbles under the Blitzkrieg. Great Britain, standing alone, faces the Nazi threat. Their Royal Air Force, valiant but outmatched, fights desperately to defend their homeland. The Battle of Britain rages in the skies. Spitfires and hurricanes, symbols of British defiance, clash with German bombers and their Messerschmitt escorts. The fate of freedom hangs precariously in the balance. Across the Atlantic, the United States watches with growing concern. Though still clinging to neutrality, the U.S. government recognizes the grave danger posed by the Axis powers. In this desperate hour, a call for help echoes across the ocean. Britain needs more planes, planes that can match the Luftwaffe's might. Little do they know, a legend is about to be born in the heartland of America, a legend that will soar into the annals of history, the P-51 Mustang. As the world stands on the brink, the P-51 Mustang will become a symbol of hope and resilience, changing the course of history. Deep in the American heartland, a team of brilliant engineers toils away. Their mission to design and build a new fighter plane with unprecedented capabilities. North American Aviation, a relatively new company, rises to the challenge. Led by the visionary James Howard Dutch Kindleberger, they embark on a race against time. The British Purchasing Commission, desperate for new aircraft, approaches North American Aviation. They need a fighter, and they need it fast. Kindleberger, a bold innovator, promises a revolutionary design. In a feat of engineering ingenuity, the first prototype rolls out in just 117 days. The P-51 Mustang is born. Sleek and aerodynamic, it boasts a powerful engine and impressive range. Early tests reveal its exceptional performance, but there's room for improvement. A key modification, the adoption of the Rolls-Royce Merlin engine, will transform the Mustang into a true thoroughbred of the skies. The design process included extensive wind tunnel testing to refine its aerodynamics. Engineers focused on optimizing the wing design for better lift and maneuverability. The result was a fighter that excelled in both dogfights and long-range missions, cementing its legacy as one of the greatest aircraft of World War II. With the powerful Merlin engine, the P-51 Mustang comes alive. It can fly higher, faster, and farther than any other fighter in the war. Its range is revolutionary, allowing it to escort bombers all the way to Berlin and back. The tide of the air war begins to turn. American pilots take to the Mustang like knights of old to their steeds. Its maneuverability and firepower make it a formidable opponent in dogfights. The Luftwaffe, once dominant in the skies, faces a new challenge. The Mustang's arrival marks a turning point in the war. The skies over Europe rumble with the roar of aerial combat. P-51 Mustangs, adorned with distinctive squadron markings and often personalized nose art, become a symbol of hope for the Allied forces and a source of dread for the enemy. They are the guardians of the bombers, clearing the way for strategic bombing raids on German industrial targets. The Mustang's agility and speed make it a master of the skies, capable of outmaneuvering and outpacing its adversaries. Its impact on the war effort is undeniable, cementing its legacy as one of the greatest fighters of World War II. Voices from the cockpit. She was a dream to fly, recalls Robert Bob Hoover, a decorated Mustang pilot. Responsive, fast, and with that Merlin engine purring behind you, you felt like you could take on the world. Hoover, known for his daring exploits, flew over 160 missions in the Mustang. Chuck Yeager, another legendary pilot, echoes the sentiment. The Mustang was a pilot's airplane, he remarks. You strapped it on and felt like you were part of the machine. Jaeger, the first man to break the sound barrier, honed his skills in the cockpit of a P-51. These are just a few of the many voices that speak of the Mustang's impact. From the young pilots fresh out of training to seasoned veterans all share a deep respect and admiration for this remarkable aircraft. Their stories, filled with bravery, camaraderie, and loss, paint a vivid picture of the air war. Each mission, each flight, was a testament to their skill and the Mustang's prowess. The enduring legacy of the P-51 Mustang. As the war in Europe ends, the Mustang emerges as a symbol of Allied victory. It played a pivotal role in securing air superiority and paving the way for the Allied advance. Its legacy, however, extends far beyond the battlefields of World War II. Even today, the P-51 Mustang continues to captivate aviation enthusiasts around the world. 
Restored to their former glory, these warbirds grace the skies at air shows, a testament to the skill of the engineers who designed them and the bravery of the pilots who flew them. The Mustang story is a reminder of the human spirit's capacity for innovation and courage in the face of adversity. It stands as a symbol of freedom, a testament to the sacrifices made by those who fought for a better tomorrow. Its legacy serves as an inspiration for generations to come. The Mustang's influence extends into popular culture, appearing in films, books, and video games, ensuring its story is told to new audiences. Educational programs and workshops continue to teach the next generation about the Mustang's historical significance and technological advancements. The Mustang is also honored in modern military ceremonies, a lasting tribute to its role in shaping history. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.